In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily add film simulations to your Fuji film camera. First thing you're going to need to do is press the menu button and navigate to your IQ menu. We're going to scroll down past the film simulation button. This is what confused me. Nothing to do with this film simulation button here. You go all the way down to the third part of this menu. You're going to go into edit, save custom setting. And then in here, you're probably not going to have any recipes. These are all the ones that I've inputted. I think you can have up to 10. I think it varies on different cameras. Uh, I quite like all of these recipes apart from the sunset one. So we're going to change that. The first thing that I've learned recently is that you really should name your recipe exactly what the recipe is called. Don't just call it something generic because then if somebody sees that recipe and asks you, what was that shot on? What is that recipe? You can tell them quickly. You can go into your settings and you can share that recipe. So I'm going to go for this recipe. It's called Old Kodak. I'm working my way slowly through all of the recipes on Fuji Weekly. It's a great website if you want to take a look at different recipes. And there's loads of videos on my YouTube channel showing how these re different recipes affect your images. And press set. Okay, this is the important bit. Go into edit and check. And all of these settings are the ones that you now want to change. So we're going to start with film simulation, which is classic chrome. I think we're already on classic chrome. Yep. So if it wasn't classic chrome, you just move to one of these other ones. The thing I find a little bit annoying with Fuji Weekly is none of these settings ever seem to be quite in order. So you do need to navigate the menus to find the part that you're looking for. Uh, here we go. So dynamic range is currently on auto. We want to put that on DR400. Um, highlights, we're going to change that to plus 3.5. Shadows are in the same part of the menu. And we want to go to minus 0.5. Color, we're going to change that to plus 3. And you can see that all of the different settings we're changing have got a red dot next to them to indicate that we are changing those settings. Sharpening, we're going to go to minus 2. High ISO noise reduction, we're going to change that to minus 4. Clarity is at minus 2. Whoops, minus 2. Grain effect, so this is back up on the first section of the menu. It's there. Strong large, what have we got at the minute? No, strong small, we need to change that too. Color chrome effect is on strong. And then color chrome FX blue is also on strong. And then the white balance can be a little bit tricky. Um, it's at the top of section two. Uh, this one is auto white priority plus one red minus six blue. So we'll pop that on auto white balance. Never actually seen one that's auto white balance before. And then we're going to pop it on plus red. Oh, that way. Plus red and minus six blue. You just need to move the joystick around um, until you get to the desired setting. And then just click the center button. And now you can see that we've got red dots next to everything that affects that recipe. It is worth noting that anything you change in these settings as well will also be part of the recipe. So I always like to come down here and make sure that we've got shutter type on mechanical and electronic. Um, just because that's how I like to shoot. But all of these settings, all of your like, if you wanted to have focus check on, you'd need to put that on here and then that affects the recipe. Now this is the really important bit. You see at the top where it says old Kodak edit slash check. At the minute we're just saying what we want these settings to be. What we have to now do which I missed for the longest time and it kept messing me up is you press the back button and then you save those changes. Now you're ready to go, but I would advise setting a custom button to access that recipe. So if you go down to the, your spanner icon, and you're going to go to button and dial settings, and then function settings, and then just pick one of these buttons. I've got mine set to this button up here for select custom settings. And then when I press that button, I have access to all of my different recipes. And if you turn it off, and you go back into your menu settings, and go to your IQ setting, this is where these settings will now be affected one at a time. So if you wanted to just change your film simulation, you can, um, and it completely bypasses the custom recipes that you've put on. I really, really like the look of that old Kodak uh, 
film simulation. So I'm going to give it a try. I'm probably going to make a video about it on my YouTube channel. So if you like this video and you want to see more Fujifilm recipes, then do subscribe. Thank you for watching. Give the video a like if it helped you out. A video like this would have been really helpful when I was trying to figure this out by myself.